Okay. I've worked out the proportions. And uh, all I have to do now is do the leg. Time to play with some clay. I'm doing the skeletal structure first before I put the muscles on. It just helps me get it right. All right, I decided to make the bone structure out of monster clay because the hoof of the horse is going to be made out of monster clay and it'd be a lot easier if the whole bone structure was monster clay so I'm going to redo the bone structure of the horse's uh, leg If any of these monster clay shows through once I put the muscles on, because there's a good possibility that will happen, then I'll just uh, paint it to match the color of the clay. I've uh, blown up a uh, drawing of the horse's uh, anatomy to match the uh, size of the horse that I'm doing. So I can get the uh, proportions for the leg uh, and the joints for the leg a little more accurately. Because the last thing I want to do is have the joints too far down or too short. I don't want a leg that's 10 times longer than it should be. Oop. The camera is right in front of my head. <laughs> That's why I'm bu bumping it here. I'm just going to make a new leg. This uh, structure of the, the armature is too thick for the bone structure of the leg, and so. I'll just make a new leg armature. It'd be a lot easier than wrestling with the uh, thickness of the uh, bone structure. All right, I've got the uh, one leg finally. I mean, I spent probably an hour and a half trying to get this done right. Finally got it where I like it and I'll do the other leg but uh, it works out better having put a new armature in there and uh, I'll do the hoof and all that stuff this is going to be a real short video I, I think I mean I say that and it's every once in a while uh, it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be but uh I'm trying to do this in such a way that you can see what I'm doing, but I don't 
actually show you everything I'm doing because I do cover it in my instructional videos that I have online. Having all the joints in the right place is a big plus. Oop, I gotta do that. We got a major thunderstorm coming through. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up the uh, skeletal structure a little bit. I think what I'll do before I put the clay on is I'll paint the uh, monster clay to look like clay, the clay, the color of the clay, which means I'm going to have to call it quits for the day because it'll take probably a good half hour for it to completely dry, so I'm going to add clay to it. This took longer than I thought it was going to because I tried it once and didn't like it and redid it and uh, I'm liking the way it turned out now, but uh, it's just going to take a while for this to dry. For those of you who are new to my channel, I took a sample of clay to a local hardware store where they sell paint and I had them match the color of the clay to the paint. And uh, it doesn't hurt anything, doesn't harm anything. Once the thing is cast in bronze, it all looks the same. So. This just takes the uh, foreign material, like the monster clay, compared to my uh, J-Mac, which I'm using here. And it just uh, makes it look like the J-Mac. And it takes away questions by somebody who's looking at the clay. If you don't have questions... They look at the total sculpture without getting sidetracked with why is it a different color. 
here and not there. And it takes away the, the need to have to explain everything. I'm going to have to get some more clay or more paint made up. This clay paint that lasted me probably for close to 10 years, and I'm down the last little bit of it. It's an indoor flat finish paint, it's water soluble. And uh, it works really good. All right, I'm going to have to go wash off this brush and uh, my robe because I just got a little bit on the robe. <laughs> yes, I work in my robe. It's one of the beauties about working at home. I don't have to get dressed up. All right, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow when I'll start adding muscle to the uh, legs. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.